Hello, and thanks for stopping by. I've released a new watercolor class on my teaching platforms on watercolor winter hats. The class contains six images, all broken down into real time step by steps. But today, I have two bonus images for you that I'm going to show at a faster speed to demonstrate all the steps. The original six illustrations are available in detailed real time step by step instructions but here on YouTube. I've created two videos, each a bonus class for each image. I've included a link where you can download the bonus template if you want to follow along and create your own image. And I'll include links to my Skillshare classes and TabletWise as well. Here's the class for hat number seven, a plaid beret. So the first thing I do is trace my image. We'll do the beret first. So I put my image on a light source, and this could be a window. Here I'm using a light pad. I put it down and then I take a color and this is a watercolor pencil and I just trace my image. And there I have my image. Next stage will start painting. So the first thing I do is I treat each section of the beret, the top, the main section and the brim individually and I wet that with just clear water. And then I'll go in into each section and introduce the pigment. And I like to start with the largest section. And I go in there and I really focus my pigment around the edges and then the color will bleed because I introduce the water as the first step. Then I'll continue to add pigment until I get the intensity that I like. And some days this takes longer than others. Then I'll go in and work on my other two parts to my hat, the brim and the top. And I do the same procedure where I focus on the perimeter, adding pigment, and then I let the pigment run in the center. I'll continue to add more intensity as I go along. And when I'm happy, I'll stop and let this layer completely dry. After it's dry, I'll come back and add more pigment to my palette, a little more blue this time, and I'm gonna make thick stripes. These are gonna be vertical at first, and I start in the center, and then I work on either side just to get a nice balance. And then I'll sharpen up the edges, thicken up some stripes that were maybe a little thinner, and so forth. I'll do the same thing, emphasizing the top sharpness and the bottom of each of the stripes. I'll continue to add just a little more pigment here and there as I see fit, and I'll do the same thing with the brim and the top of the hat. Once I'm pleased with this result, I'll stop and let it dry. Then I'll come back and mix even more pigment on my palette with a little more blue this time, and I'm gonna add thick horizontal stripes. And I come in here and I just add a couple following the arc of the hat, and then I let this layer dry. I'll come back in and with that same color, take a small brush and just make thin stripes in between the major stripes, the big thick stripes. And you can introduce a new color here if you like. I'll let this layer dry and then I'm all done. Thanks for joining me today.